It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it One man, one show One you army, really nigga <laughs> I'm a go, God, nigga What? Really, nigga? Okay, 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 okay. Oh shit! Hey man, it's the ISO God himself, my nigga. I know you niggas have been waiting for the realest nigga in the community, the most honest nigga in the community, the greatest ISOer of all times in every 2K without trying, with least time played in the community to really break this down and give y'all some some realistic expectations, my nigga. Now look. This ain't gonna be no pessimistic bashing the game. You're so next suck a dick, bitch. It's a fucking video game, nigga. If you don't wanna hear me be real about a game, go somewhere, fuck, nigga. Like, come on, bitch. Stop being a fucking weirdo, bro. You niggas bash things throughout your life. You talk negative, you criticize, all types of shit. But when I talk about something you love, a fucking video game, you get in your fucking feelings. It, does your pussy hurt, nigga? Do you need your pussy rubbed? Oh my god, look, look at you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I can say what the fuck I want. Stop writing paragraphs in my comment section, you sweet bitches, okay? Now look, I'm, I'm sorry I had to do that for you new niggas. Make sure y'all subscribe, spam up the like button, but I, these niggas are crazy, bro. It, it's not many. But it's some niggas, bro. Just writing paragraphs, the most. Anyways, this video gonna be long enough. I'm gonna break this shit down. Now look, it's just gonna be my opinion, bro. It's most likely gonna be a fact, but I'm just gonna give y'all realistic expectations, man. I understand marketing, okay? Gimmicks, all this shit, okay? Fuck you. What's your little fake positivity, you weird bitch, okay? I hope this game is great. Dumbass nigga, I, I have a 2K channel. The fuck would I want the game to be bad for, bitch? You fucking moron. Now, <laughs> let's get into this motherfucking takeover system, man. Hey, man, make sure y'all sub, bro. Like, I'm gonna be very helpful in 19 if I actually play that bitch, okay? Like, I'm the greatest, highest IQ. But hey, <laughs> enough big up in myself, nigga. I, I, I just have to... I have to say that, bro, because niggas be talking crazy, my nigga, you know? Okay, and keep in mind, I haven't read this, bro, so whatever. I just seen, like, little images or whatever. Hey, and I'm gonna be ranting. There's no point to this video. I'm just talking, nigga, okay? Okay, I'm glad we came to that understanding. New takeover system. One of the more notable changes coming to NBA 2K19 is a new game system that celebrates an idea that any NBA player can take over a game at any time. From the arcade classic NBA Jam. Oh shit. What the fuck, nigga? <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? What the fuck does that mean, nigga? <laughs> Yo, they, they might be going too far, bro. You know? Because in 17, the grand badge was fucking canceled. Okay, it was cancer. I mean, I was good enough to avoid it, but a lot of people they can't avoid things. That's that's why they bitch about isoing and dribblers. They they don't have no defense. They they don't know how to back the fuck up. They're they're just stupid. They think they could just stand in front of a dribbler or an isoer and that they should you know like bitch, you better um change your gap distance and all sorts of shit y'all niggas gotta learn to play defense you dumb nigga you just don't hold there and press l2 like you stupid bitch but hey man <laughs> grand badge was crazy in fucking um 17 nigga um being on fire is crazy in 18 nigga i don't i know y'all probably don't see it a lot from the current youtubers but <laughs> What the fuck? Nigga, when you see me hot, you're fucking done, nigga. You know, I can do that on my play sharp. I don't need my shot maker. Even when I'm not hot, I'm still breaking ankles. So with this on fires, I don't know. They, they saying classic NBA jam style, okay? Like, these two past years, 
ankle breakers have been at an all-time high, okay? 15 and uh, 16, they were very rare, despite what y'all might think, and y'all think that, you know? You think those are the most arcadey games, but why was ankle breaker not going crazy? I don't, I don't know, niggas is dumb. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, let's read more of this shit. The way TakeOver works is players from, of each archetype have unique ways to exert their dominance during a game. For instance, playmakers take over by setting up teammates for easy buckets. Shut the fuck up, nigga. That, that's a dying position. They niggas not really playmakers. They're more point scorers, nigga. Um, rim protectors change the trajectory of a game by locking down the paint. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> As the player exercises his will against the opponents using his specialties, he builds up a takeover meter. Once activated, you will see an on-fire badge underneath the player on the court, which indicate the player... Oh, shit, my bad. The player has unlocked a new tier of special animations and badges that align with their archetype. For instance, playmakers like Rajon Rondo, one of the greatest PGs ever, stay woke, won't suddenly, well, in his prime, won't suddenly be raining down threes while on fire, NBA Jam style. Instead, they may get dimer and ankle breaker boost. Look like, um, like from right here, this look like playmakers might be obsolete, my guy. You know, like a pure playmaker. You feel me? Because if you don't get that uh, jump shot boost when you're hot, I'm assuming this is just gonna take over being hot. Then niggas might not fuck with that, nigga. You know, you need that jump shot boost when you're hot, nigga, because that's when you start spamming them threes. The good niggas know what I'm talking about, nigga. You know, when you hot. <laughs> Them threes, them ankles, you feel me? No one care about no fucking hot dimer. Bro, imagine activating your NBA Jam style shit and you just breaking everybody's ankles. I could just imagine me being in this mode whenever I use this build or whatever, and I give it to a nigga, right? And he misses, wide open three. I'm gonna lose my fucking, holding the left bumper button, you can check where all your players on the court are at. At, in terms of activating their takeover I don't know nigga this shit so toxic nigga hey guys so you know they always have to do a marketing scheme man to really get niggas you know in this bitch but I don't know how powerful this shit gonna be multiple players on the same team can activate takeovers at the same time as well as making for some intriguing combinations but beware if your players struggle, they can also develop cold streaks. These diminishes gradually, these diminish gradual over time. But you can try to accelerate coming out of their funk by calling a timeout. Bitch, you talking about some pro-am, nigga? What are you talking about? Mike Wang says, I like it. It's a little meta game to think about how you play with players. Okay. I see you trying to do some shit, nigga. Oh, some destiny shit, nigga. Dramatically reduce clipping. The switch to the new motion system had ass. Shit look just like 2K18, nigga. Hey, if y'all want me to break down the 2K18 gameplay, I'm gonna need 2K likes, my nigga. Okay. So here Mike Wang admitting and saying that this fucking blow by is embarrassing, nigga. You that's what I be saying, man. Nigga, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself, bro. You know? That's why you gotta fly out good niggas out there, bro. You feel me? But look, he says, it was embarrassing. Wang admits, there's a bug that we didn't find until very, very late with the collision detection. What the fuck? That's another thing that we're working on right now. We're spending a lot of time trying to make sure you just can't go through players and stopping them when you try to run into guys. I don't know, nigga. I think that shit's still gonna be there, cause how can't you patch it once during this year? And then 2K19 look exactly the same. Like, how are you patching it? I don't, I don't know, bro. Rebuilt stealing system. Now, I hope this means you can rip niggas even more, nigga. See, 
I'm one of the few that loved the the reaching in 17, okay? I loved it. I, I wanted the steel success to be higher. You don't hear a lot of dribble gods or eyesores say that, but here's why. I have IQ, fuck nigga. If you reach on me, I'm walking right past you, nigga. Every time. You start, I'm gone. You, you reach on me, <clears throat> go to left three. It's very easy, nigga. If I see you spamming, I can score instantly, bro. You know? I make it to where niggas can't reach. A lot of people can't do that. And I love when niggas stood in your fucking face. You could reach or fucking like, you know? I, I hope this steel system is revamped. I'm tired of niggas standing in my fucking face with no skill, no IQ to judge the distance. And when I'm like on the ball, no IQ and not getting ripped. I want niggas to pay for being fucking trash, nigga. My IQ won't let me just walk through people or bump in niggas or just dribble in a nigga's face when it's on comp level. I only do that shit for fun, nigga. You know, it's for entertainment. But when I'm in my try hard shit and I'm in my zone, nigga, I don't like it, it's it's almost it's almost a limiter to my ability that I don't play like a fucking bum and just spam in niggas face or stand in niggas face because niggas get rewarded for that shit. But let's read this shit, nigga. We've all been in a situation defending off ball and see an opportunity to swipe at an unprotected ball. Yes. Yet nothing happens when we press the steal button. Yes. It's been in every 2K, my nigga. Visual Concepts has wanted to re-examine this system for a while now. And finally had time to address it with NBA 2K19. Successful steal opportunities are now governed by a zone system that judges vulnerability. Oh my God, oh my God, that sounds so sexual. But I doubt it, nigga. We'll, we'll see. You know, uh, I, I, can, I can imagine if this is effective, like, like how it sounds, nigga, niggas is gonna complain and bitch and cry. Like, nigga, you ass, nigga. What you mean, bitch? This shit not like the past 2Ks, nigga. But I don't think so. Defenders who recognize prime stealing opportunities where the ball is exposed during open body hesitation dribbles when the post players aren't protecting the ball from a secondary defender, for example, will be rewarded for their smart timing. We'll see. We'll see, bro. I hope. I hope they make the game like that. I love ripping niggas. That's my shit, nigga. Because then, then you can really see. A lot of people think I'm just an offensive nigga, but... I actually pride myself in motherfucking defensive IQ, nigga. You know, that, that's my shit. That's how I win my games, defensive shit. Dribblers can't just string together moves with no concern about the defender's reach anymore. Oh, shit. Reading those situations correctly and stealing at the right time will pop out the ball a lot easier. One thing I hope they change for next year, and y'all y'all let me know y'all's opinion on this and shit. One thing I hope they change is when you rip a nigga, bruh, that he can't just go get the ball back. Like, that shit is stupid. I'm tired of seeing that shit. Nigga get ripped and get picked the ball up. Like, like, nigga, he should be stunned. You feel me? A little bit. But anyways, but these always aren't clean wins with unobstructed pass to the hoop. Building off the more unpredictable loose balls of NBA 2K18. Sometimes both players will scramble for possession when it's not free. We'll see, nigga. Returning skill to one-on-ones. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, nigga. You know, I hope. I hope, my nigga. <laughs> I fucking hope, bro. Let's read this shit, man. Last year's new motion system made it easier to blow by defenders with speed. But it went too far. Way too far, fuck me. Even lockdown defenders could be taken right off the dribble with startling regularity. Yes. This has been reworked in NBA 2K19 to make stick skills matter more than before and restore balance to one-on-one -on -one interactions. We'll see. We have to make this game more about bringing the skill gap. We'll see, Wang says. It's all about matching your stick to where the guy's trying to get to. That's where you'll get set-offs 
and the brick walls. You'll get blow offs, blah, blah, blah. Um, so basically, I'm hearing they took lives defensive system to where niggas can't like blow by like left stick type of shit i don't know let's see defenders also can't just rely on holding the left trigger to be in an ideal situation to contest the shot the automated contest system has been removed so defenders need to actively get a hand in the shooter's face by using the right analog stick if they want to affect the shot okay that right there can explain some crazy fucking shit i seen that i'm gonna point out in a future video i hope i remember let me, matter of fact let me take a picture of this let me take a picture of this because i seen some crazy shit nigga i'm gonna talk about it in a later video bro anyways offensively dribblers have some new tools at their disposal as well flicking the right Stick activates a signature walking size up. Stupid bitch Mike Wang. We don't want it in the fucking game. I hope your movement system is not like 18. Everyone's saying this feels like 18. I don't know why niggas can go to the to the fucking to the event and not tell niggas if there's a walking size up. Like the niggas just don't know what the fuck it is and shit. But I hope that shit doesn't, you know, you walk down the court, you randomly switch hands like you're always fighting an animation, nigga, like that shit, that shit is dumb, and I don't understand flicking the right stick type shit because that's how you dribble, I don't know, Wang also says good ball handlers should find NBA 2K19 a lot more responsive and fluid in terms of branching and combos. We'll see, bro. Okay, let's read this. Unique street ball moves. We'll see. We'll see, my nigga. Like, we'll see, bro. You know? Those playing in the park or blacktop have a lot more entertaining dribble moves for taunting and embarrassing opponents in NBA 2K19. I hope so, my nigga. Visual concepts brought in street ball players to motion capture a new park with specific handling moves like wrapping the ball around a defender's head and nutmegs. Now, that, si that sounds like just a size up, you know? They're not really talking about speed, like bursting, you know? And even, even annoying that nigga, okay? That nigga said that he couldn't tell there was speed boosting in the game. He said that. So if he thinks shit is slow, imagine what I would think of it. He told Mike Wang that that he, he couldn't feel the speed boost. He had to ask him. He said it felt like Pat Six on fucking 2K16, like the speed of it. And Mike Wang was saying that it, it, there's speed boosting in the game and shit. So, you know, if you just got a bunch of size ups and shit, that shit is fucking lame. Dribblers don't like that, but I don't know. He's saying, I can't wait to show them off. They are pretty insane. We'll see. These moves don't fit the feel of NBA, so they will be only available in street mode. Shot meter improvements. One of the biggest annoyances in NBA 2K18 was the lack of a shot meter on layups. Good players commonly missed wide open layups, and players had no idea of what they were doing wrong. Niggas weren't doing shit wrong. Your game was fucking broken, nigga. <laughs> no layup meter was gonna... Niggas was really missing wide open layups, nigga. Like, nah, nah. That's an L, nigga. Visual concepts heard our complaints and is including a shot meter on all layups. I guess that's cool, whatever. Now, for the shot meters, bro, 2K uh, or Mike Wang, listen to me, bro, because I was telling these... I was, like, the only nigga, and then niggas started copying I said, make your shot meter to where there's like a fucking glow, like a eye rewarding shit, not just like plain and dull like 17, even though 17 won the poll, so he kind of made it like 17, but you see there's like a little, like a splash when you fucking <laughs> get a green, nigga. So, I don't know, shout out to Swan. Okay, interior defense, <laughs> we'll see, fuck nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, bro. I hope so, man. 
Going into the paint won't be such a breeze in NBA 2K19. When moving into high traffic areas, the new stealing system gives bigs the awareness to take a swipe at exposed balls. Pause. And visual concepts also did work to make the contact in the paint seem more difficult to push through. I love that, bro. I am about defense. Even though you see all my ISO shit, I love defense, nigga. That shit will win me games, bro. In anything I fucking do or play. Interior defense was really rough last year, Wink says. When we went to the new motion system, we ended up taking out a lot of the multi... Fuck. Multi-actor animations that we had in the past. Yes, you need to fucking change that, bitch. So it made it really tough to protect the rim. That's why there were so many missed layups. What, what does that have to do with that? It was kind of a band-aid to fix all that. What? You're making niggas miss layups because there's no defense bitch the fuck are you doing this that shit's crazy that's a lot better now so is the hit detection when you actually are covered oh we'll see ai enhancement nigga we don't care about that shit okay that's the end of the article i don't know how long this fucking video is nigga but look um I don't know, bro. Y'all niggas let me know if y'all excited. Y'all let me know if y'all think this is going to be better than 2K18. And um, I don't know, man. I'm I'm not, like, really excited, bro. I'm more scared, bro. Like, like I'm keeping it 100, dog. I'm, like, scared of what... And that's sad, right? I'm scared of what they're going to make, you know? Like, I don't, I don't want 2K to fucking turn into a, a, a pick and roll, a pick and pop game where everyone's fucking sharps. He sets a screen and rolls like that shit is boring. Okay. Like that shit is I, I like, I fear that shit every year. Nigga, like niggas can't ISO or, or dribble like niggas. What, what, what if there's no double bar stamina? Like, Come on, bro. Like, you, you, you would kill your game, nigga. Like, niggas don't even realize it, bro. But hope I can have fun this year. I hope it is a great skill gap so I can have fun playing comp. Instead of when I play comp, it's just a stretch big shooting in niggas' face. And the game's super competitive because niggas are making shots in niggas' face. It's not fun. Why the fuck would I want to play comp when niggas are just walking through people's body and shooting a nigga's face on purpose. It's the meta. There's no point to be good or have skill or judgment. You walk through nigga's body and you shoot in nigga's face. The fuck would I waste my time playing some fucking cop for, nigga? Like, that shit not gonna be fun. It's gonna be fucking toxic, nigga. But I'm out this bitch. I love all you niggas. Drink a gallon of water a day. Your face will look a lot better, you little dirty ass nigga. Wash your fucking hair. Brush your teeth. Um, shower every day, fuck nigga. Drink ice water. I don't fucking know. I'm gone, bro.